Chapter 16 RC Time Constant The objectives of this chapter are to determine the RC and L divided by R response to a square wave and to mark coordinate points. Most of our studies up until now have centered about the circuit response to a sine wave. In digital circuits, however, the pulsed square wave is a standard waveform. In this chapter, we will determine the transient response of a simple RC circuit of figure 16.1 to a pulsed voltage source. When working in the time domain, Kirchhoff's law generates the following differential equation for the circuit figure 16.1, where all values are instantaneous functions of time. For a pulse input, the differential equation yields the following solutions for the rise and fall waveforms. The term RC is known as a time constant. In our case, has the value 1 millisecond. It is worth remembering that in one RC time constant, the rising voltage goes up 63% of the maximum value and the falling voltage drops to 37% of the maximum value. Using this circuit in this chapter, we will demonstrate how to view time constants. This is a very simple process. The circuit we're using uses a V pulse source and an R and a C in series. We use the standard time domain simulation technique and we'll be able to see the V in versus V out on the simulation waveform. So we go back to the time domain transient setup and run time is 10 milliseconds with a step size of 10 microseconds. And we click OK and we run the circuit. But before we do that, we just got to make sure we have our right node names in. So we have V in after the source, but before the resistor. And V out is after the resistor, but before the capacitor. And we run our circuit. And wait for the simulation window to pop up. Now we select our traces. For the first set, we want V in versus V out. This will show you the V in is the green line, 0 to 10 for all time constants up to 5 milliseconds. And the V out is the curved line as the capacitor charges. That's what V out looks like with approximately 5 time constants to get the capacitor fully charged and then the same amount of time to get it discharged. Another way we can look at these types of graphs is by adding multiple plots and also combining the two traces to form one trace to see the exact way it moves up to 10 volts and then back down with V in and V out. So that's our first trace is the voltage of V in comma V out. This will show you one simple smooth line with respect to charging and discharging. And we'll include the V in and the V out traces in separate plots just by adding another plot window and then adding the trace to that selected plot window and you can see if you add the top two plots together you will get the bottom plot window and this is all the concepts in chapter 16 that are presented so that concludes this chapter RC time constants